with Genesis 12. Uh, we're going to look at the promises to Abram, and we're going to see that what God is speaking, he is also speaking to us. It belongs to you too. So you want to read this or hear this with that in mind that this yes. belongs to me too. Right. So starting at verse one, it says, now the Lord has said to Abram, get out of your country from your family. Come on now, get away from your family get up for where you are, he says, and from your father's house. Come on, there's sometimes when we have to escape our kinfolk. <laughs> we have to get out from there. He says, get out for yourself with all speed. All right, and Abraham was told to leave several things. He was told to leave his country. He was told to leave his people and he was told to leave his father's house. But he was told nothing about the land to which he, uh, God says, I'm going to send you there to a land that I will show you. So his departure required unparalleled acts of faith. Amen. And then verse two, it says, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. Or in other words, I will give you a seed with the blessing of fruitfulness and increase. He says, and make your name great. The name of the obedient believers shall certainly be celebrated and made great. Then it says, and you shall be a blessing everywhere you go in your life. You shall be a blessing. Amen. Verse three says, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So what a my, what a, a a promise this is! I mean, that's such. I no wonder Abraham had faith because he was like, "Oh my God, you know, this is what you're you're going to give me just for believing you, you know." So he God gave him land, God gave him a great nation. Uh, he said, "I will bless you." You know, so he gave him a seed. He says, I'm going to make your name great. You shall be a blessing. That's why he says, and that if anybody um, curses you, uh, they are cursing me. So I'm going to curse them. And if anybody blesses you, they are blessing me. So I'm going to bless them. And he says, and all the families of the earth shall be blessed because of you. So Abraham departed. This is uh, verse four. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him and Lot went with him and Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Then Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered and the people whom they had acquired in Haran. And they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the Terebinth tree of Morah, and the Canaanites were then in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, to your descendants, I will give this land. And there he built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. Abraham built an altar unto the Lord and began to worship him because of what God has promised. My God today. Come on, he didn't even have the land yet, but he built an altar to the Lord and began to worship him. 
Then it says in verse eight, and he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel, and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And guess what he did? He built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Come on, everywhere he went, Abram built an altar unto the Lord and began to worship him. Come on, that's what we want to do. We want to have altars where we're worshiping God. God, you promised me this. I worship you. I exalt your name. I receive that promise. I declare that promise. I know that it belongs to me. I worship you, oh God. And everywhere he went, Abraham built an altar of worship unto the Lord. So Abel responded by faith. He obediently left everything to follow God's plan. He said, forget all of that. I'm leaving all of that behind. And through faith and obedience, he did what God asked him to do. And so his leaving is what started a chain of reactions. Once he began to take that first step, he they packed up everything. He told his wife, get ready, because we get ready to leave. Told all his kin folks, bye. And he began to walk and go in that direction. He didn't even know where he was going. He just started walking. God, the Lord said, just go. I'll, I'll tell you as you're going, you know, where to go. Why? Wow. You know, please, you, you, what, you know, God, if God said, hey, I want you to go outside and just stand outside for 15 minutes, we probably would be like, what? I know that was not God. <laughs> but why would God, you know, because, you know, we have to know why. We need to know why, you know, especially as women. But Abram did what the Lord told him to do. Abram's calling had a purpose. His obedience brought him great blessings that we are now living in, walking in, have access to. Galatians 3, verse 28 and 29 bears this out. It says, there is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heirs and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. So those eight things that we went through, God says, I'm going to give you land. I'm going to make you a great nation. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, curse those who curse thee, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. God says, I give to you seed. There is something that he has placed inside of you that when you understand the purpose of it and you begin to walk by faith and do what he says in obedience, come on, a chain of reaction is going to be released. You're going to have one thing that's going to unfold right after the other. Walk by faith, God says. And so, we're asking for it. The Lord says, what do you need tonight? Ask of me. Hallelujah. What do you want from God? This is a foundational principle of our relationship with him as our king, as our ruler, as our Lord, our savior, as our daddy God. And he has made himself available to hear your request tonight, whatever you ask of the Lord. So Matthew 7 and 7, we got some word on that. It says, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks, receives. 
everyone who seeks finds and to everyone who knocks the door will be open he says if you parents can give good gifts to your children or if your children ask for a loaf of bread do you give them a stone instead or if they ask for a fish do you give them a snake of course not so if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who do what who ask him hallelujah he is going to do it simply because you ask everyone who asks receives come on i don't care who didn't receive i don't care who asked and didn't get it that ain't got nothing to do with you you believe this word because you have a covenant promise you have uh, the mindset to obey god and to do what he is telling you to do he says ask whatsoever you will and it shall be done unto you first chronicles 4 9 and 10 says there was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, oh, that you will bless me and expand my territory Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted his request. Come on now. Hallelujah. So he was an honorable man. He had a pure heart before God. That always plays a part in how God answers our prayers. Every single time being honorable and having a pure heart before God always plays a part, play a, a big part in how God answers our prayers. And so one more um, Genesis 32 we know how Abraham's grandson, Jacob, he wrestled with God is starting at verse 22. It says, during the night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two servant wives and his 11 sons and crossed the Jabbok River with them. After taking them to the other side, he sent over all his possessions. This left Jacob all alone in the camp and a man came and wrestled with him until the dawn began to break. When the man saw that he would not win the match, he touched Jacob's hip and wrenched it out of its socket. Then the man said, let me go for the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And uh, the man said, what is your name? And he replied, Jacob, your name will no longer be Jacob. The man told him, from now on, you will be called Israel because you have fought with God with, and with men and have won. Please tell me your name, Jacob said. Why do you want to know my name? The man replied. Then he blessed Jacob there. Jacob named the place Peniel which means face of God. For he said, I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been spared. Come on, we know about Jacob. Jacob was a trickster. Jacob was a deceiver. And he deceived Esau, who was his twin, but came out first. He deceived him of his birthright. And then he grew up uh, with that, they separated and Esau swore that after um, uh, Isaac died that he was going to kill Jacob. And Jacob lived under that threat. He uh, goes off to his uh, mother's brother's house and, you know, he come from a lot of tricksters. So what, what does the uncle do? Laban tricked him. 
And so we know that he spent 14 years uh, winning the heart of Rachel, ends up with Leah after the first seven, you know, and then uh, works another seven years to uh, keep Rachel as his wife. Come on now. And when he knew that Esau was coming for him, my God, Esau was like, I'm going to get you. Our father is dead and I'm coming for you. And so Jacob was concerned because he knew that he had done wrong and he didn't even know what to do because Esau was ready. Esau was, you know, a man's man. He knew how to go out there and kill, you know, tigers, lions and, and bears and whatever, you know, that he was doing. He was a huntsman. And so he was coming to kill Jacob. Jacob didn't know anything about doing any of that. But God had mercy on Jacob and Jacob cried out to the Lord and the Lord sent an angel. So even if you feel like you just don't measure up, if you have just done everything wrong, that's okay because Jacob got you. Jacob uh, uh, demonstrates to you how to receive from God. Come on, he began, he held on to God and he began to wrestle with God. Come on, we sometimes you're gonna have, have to wrestle with God. There's some things that God wants from you and you're gonna have to begin to wrestle. You're gonna have to begin to push. And you know, those things that are there that don't wanna let you go, those habits, those addictions, come on, whatever those troubles are, you're going to have to begin to wrestle. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness and high places, but come on and begin to put on the whole armor of God and begin to take authority. Hold on, don't let go, regardless to how you feel. Come on and begin to uh, tell God, I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to get out of your face until you bless me. I'm going to worship you until you bless me. God, I can't, I cannot go in my life and be denied. You said, ask you, come on now, what God, whatever you're asking of me, I say yes. And God, whatever I'm asking of you, you have already promised that you will give it to me. Oh my God. So Jacob came face to face with God. But because he asked God, he was also blessed with a new name. Ah, that's what God wants to give us tonight. He wants to give us a new name, a new purpose, a new future, a new destiny. Uh, Jacob's whole identity was changed. His experience is what is called a suddenly from God. And God does suddenlies. That where one minute you're here and the next minute you're there. He was instantly taken from being second after Esau, having no inheritance of his own, to being blessed spiritually with an eternal birthright full of the riches of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And this is what God wants to do for you when you come to him for a blessing. He wants to give you more than what you ask for. Come on now. That says it right there. Right now in 2024, he wants to give you more than you ever asked for because he is good. Hallelujah. And because he knows how to give good gifts to his children. What are you asking him for tonight? Whatever you ask him for, get ready for God to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think because he is the God of more. He wants to give you more. Hallelujah. He wants to do this in your life. Glory to God. And so right before we pray, our last scripture comes from Exodus 17. Moses was hungry for God. He wanted to see the glory of God. 
and he began a discourse with God, almost like a pleading, like, please, please, you know, show me your glory. And so we're starting at verse 12. It says, one day Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, take these people up to the promised land, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You have told me, I know you by name and I look favorable on you, favorably on you. If it is true that you look favorably on me, let me know your ways so I may understand you more fully and continue to enjoy your favor. And remember that this nation is your very own people. The Lord replied, I will personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. Then Moses said, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. How would anyone know that you look favorably on me, on me and your people, if you don't go with us? For your presence among us sets your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. The Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked, for I look favorably on you, and I know you by name. Moses responded, then show me your glorious presence. The Lord replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you. I will call you out my name, Yahweh, before you, for I will show mercy to anyone I choose, and I will show compassion to anyone I choose, but you may not look directly at my face, for no one may see me and live. Hallelujah. Listen, Moses was like, hey, God, you telling us to go, but if you're not going, then don't tell, we're not going to leave this place, because we only going to go if you're going with us. And Moses responded, Lord, show me your glory. Hallelujah. He was intimate with God. God told him things. Moses said, I want to know your ways. Hallelujah. God, I want to know how you think. I want to know how it is that you're doing what you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing. Glory to God. And God revealed it to him. Oh, God spoke to Moses face to face. God showed him things and God dealt with Moses. Um, it was just the two of them. And God wants to have that kind of encounter with you tonight. Do you want to see his glory? Do you want to see God move mightily and suddenly in your life. Hallelujah. I tell you, listen, that God is like, like none other. There is nothing like him anywhere. There is no one like him anywhere. Why God wants to be with us. I, you know, I don't know if our hearts will ever be able to understand. David says, what is man? that thou art mindful of him. Why you want us so, God? But Lord, here we are. We come just as we are. Lord God, we don't have it all together. And Lord, you don't even require that we have it all together. But we come to you tonight. And Lord God, we come blessing you. And even as you have come to bless us, we glorify you, oh God. So let's get ready to decree right now in the name of Jesus. And I want you to repeat after me. Charm, you gonna repeat after me? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's go. Lord. Lord. You are the source of my blessing. You are the source of my blessing. Lord. Lord. I choose blessing. I choose blessing. By walking in your covenant. By walking in your covenant. Lord. Lord. Command your blessing. Command your blessing. Upon my life. Upon my life. Lord, you are the father of lights. Lord, you are the father of lights. And you give good gifts. 
And you give good gifts. Release your gifts. Release your gifts. Into my life. Into my life. Lord, I trust in you. Lord, I trust in you. And I receive your blessing. And I receive your blessing. Lord, I ask and I receive. Lord, I ask and I receive. Lord, I seek and find. Lord, I seek and find. Your blessing. Your blessing. I knock on the door of blessing. I knock on the door of blessing. It is open to me. And it is open to me. I ask for blessings. I ask for blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I believe you. And I believe you. You will give them to me. You will give them to me. Lord, you are, you are God. Lord, you are God. Who blesses. Who blesses. And rewards those. And rewards those. Who diligently seek after you. Who diligently seek after you. You are a fountain of life. You are a fountain of life. You are a fountain of blessings. You are a fountain of blessings. You are a tree of life. You are a tree of life. You are the tree of blessing. You are the tree of blessing. Release your river of blessing. Release your river of blessing. Rain upon my life. Rain upon my life. And pour out your blessings and over me. pour out your blessings on me. Release the blessing of heaven. Release the blessing of heaven. And the blessing of the deep. And the blessing of the deep. Into my life. Into my life. Release the blessing. Release the blessing of the breast of the breast and the womb and the womb into my life, into my life. Let the blessing of Abraham, let the blessing of Abraham come on my life. Come on my life. Let me be blessed. Let me be blessed with authority, with authority. Let me be a fruitful bough. Let me be a fruitful bough. Whose branches run over the wall. Whose branches run over the wall. Bless my substance. Bless my substance. And the work of my hands. And the work of my hands. Bless my land. Bless my land. And let the dew of heaven. And let the dew of heaven. Be upon me. Be upon me. Enlarge me like Gad. Enlarge me like Gad. Let me be satisfied with favor. Let me be satisfied with favor. Let me be full of your blessing. Let me be full of your blessing. Let me dwell in safety. Let me dwell in safety. And cover me like Benjamin. And cover me like Benjamin. Let me suck of the abundance. Let me suck of the abundance. Of the seas of the seeds and of treasures and of treasures hid in the sand hid in the sand let me reap a hundredfold like isaac let me reap a hundredfold like isaac let me be blessed like jacob let me be blessed like jacob jabez asked you to bless him jabez asked you to bless him and you did and you did bless me like jabez bless me like jabez bless me and make me fruitful bless me and make me fruitful bless me with a blessing bless me with a blessing that cannot be reversed that cannot be reversed my basket and store be my Bless my basket and store. Be blessed. Be blessed. Bless my beginning. Bless my beginning and my latter end. And my latter end. Bless me with favor. Bless me with favor. Like Esther. Like Esther. Bless me with wisdom. Bless me with wisdom. Like Solomon. Like Solomon. Give me favor. Give me favor. Like Nehemiah. Like Nehemiah. To finish the assignment. To finish the assignment. You have given me. You have given me. Bless me to inherit. Bless me to inherit. My territory. My territory. Like Caleb and Joshua. Like Caleb and Joshua. Let me win every battle. Let me win every battle. Like David. Like David. I receive your blessings of goodness. I receive your blessings of goodness. You set a crown of pure gold on my head. You set a, a crown of pure gold on my head. I will rejoice because of your goodness. I will rejoice because of your goodness. Let your goodness pass before me. Let your goodness pass before me. Let your abundant goodness come into my life. Let your abundant goodness come into my life. Let your promise of goodness be fulfilled in my life. Let your promise of goodness be fulfilled in my Let life. Let me be glad. 
Let me be glad. And joyful. And joyful. Because of your goodness. Because of your goodness. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. In your goodness. In your goodness. Let me delight myself. Let me delight myself. In your great goodness. In your great goodness. Let goodness and mercy follow me. Let goodness and mercy follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. For you are my shepherd. For you are my shepherd. And I shall not want. And I shall not want. Remember me for your goodness sake. Remember me for your goodness sake. I will see your goodness. I will see your goodness. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. You have laid up your great goodness. You have laid up your great goodness. Just for me. Just for me. Let your goodness endure. Let your goodness endure. Continually in my life. Continually in my life. Crown my year with your goodness. Crown my year with your goodness. And drop abundance on my life. And drop abundance on my life. Let me be satisfied. Let me be satisfied. With the goodness of your house. With the goodness of your house. I will praise you. I will praise you. For your goodness. For your goodness. And your wonderful works. And your wonderful works. Towards me. Towards me. Fill my soul with your goodness. Fill my soul with your goodness. I receive your loving kindness. I receive your loving kindness. And great goodness. And great goodness. Bring me into a plentiful country. Bring me into a plentiful country. And let me enjoy your goodness. And let me enjoy your goodness. Let me enjoy your goodness. Let me enjoy your goodness. The wheat. The wheat. The wine. The wine. And the oil and the oil saturate my soul with fatness saturate my soul with fatness and let me be satisfied with your goodness and let me be satisfied with your goodness let men hear of the goodness yes let men hear of the goodness and prosperity you establish in my life and prosperity that you establish in my life let your goodness be as the morning cloud let your goodness be as the morning cloud and as the early do and as the early do make me cheerful with your goodness make me cheerful with your goodness i have tasted and seen i have tasted and seen that you are good that you are good i will not lack any good thing i will not lack any good thing do good in your good pleasure towards me do good in your good pleasure towards me withhold no good thing from me withhold no good thing from me give me that which is good Give me that which is good. And let me increase. And let me increase. Show me a token for good. Show me a token for good. Satisfy my mouth with good things. Satisfy my mouth with good things. And let my youth be restored as the eagles. And let my youth be restored as the eagles. Open your hand. Open your hand. And fill me with good. And fill me with good. Bless me out of Zion. Bless me out of Zion. And let me see good. And let me see good. Let me be satisfied with good. Let me be satisfied with good. By the fruit of my mouth. By the fruit of my mouth. Lord, let my desire come. Lord, let my desire come. And let it be a tree of life. And let it be a tree of life. Let understanding be a wellspring of life. Let, let understanding be a wellspring of life. Let your fear give me life. Let your fear give me life. Let your fear give me blessing. Let your fear give me blessing. Let me be satisfied. Let me be satisfied. And let me not be visited with evil. And let me not be visited with evil. Lord, let humility. Lord, let humility. And your fear bring riches. And your fear bring riches. Blessing. Blessings. And honor. And honor. I will live. I will live and not die and not die and will declare the work of the and Lord will declare the works of the Lord. Lord, show me the path of life. Lord, show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Give me life. 
Give me life. And length of days. And length of days. Give me your favor. Give me your favor. For in your favor is life. For in your favor is life. For with you. But with you. Is the fountain of life. Is the fountain of life. And in your light. And in your light. Shall we see light. Shall we see light? Let your wisdom be a tree of life to me. Let your wisdom be a tree of life to me. Let your words be life to my soul. Let your words be life to my soul. And grace to my neck. And grace to my neck. I will hold fast to instructions. I will hold fast to instructions. Because it is my life. Because it is my life. I have found wisdom. I have found wisdom. I have found life. I have found light and I obtained your favor and I obtained your favor. You have redeemed my life from destruction. You have redeemed my life from destruction. You crown me with loving kindness. You crown me with loving kindness and tender mercy and tender mercies. Let me enjoy your blessings. Let me enjoy your blessings and multiplication and multiplication and fruitfulness and fruitfulness. Your blessings come upon my family. Your blessings come upon my family. I am blessed through Christ. I am blessed through Christ. The seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham. Let me be blessed greatly. Let me be blessed greatly. Let those connected to me be blessed. Let those connected to me be blessed. Let me receive blessed advice. Let me receive blessed advice. I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. I stand not in the way of sinners. I stand not in the way of sinners. And I sit not in the seat of the scornful. And I sit not in the seat of the scornful. But I delight in the law of the Lord. But I delight in the law of the Lord. And I am blessed. And I am blessed. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. For I put my trust in you. For I put my trust in you. I receive your blessings. I receive your blessing. I receive uh, your blessings for my transgressions. I receive your blessings for my transgressions. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. And my sin is covered. And my sin is covered. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. I renounce and turn away from all guile. I renounce and turn away from all guile. I turn away from iniquity. I turn away from iniquity. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. You are my trust. You are my trust. I respect not the proud. I respect not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies, no, nor such as turn aside to lie. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. I consider the poor. I consider the poor. Deliver me in the time of trouble. Deliver me in the time of trouble. Preserve me. Preserve me. And keep me alive. And keep me alive. Bless me upon the earth. Bless me upon the earth. And deliver me. And deliver me. Not unto the will of my enemies. Not unto the will of my enemies. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. You are my strength. You are my strength. And it is in you. And it is in you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's glory give to glory your name, to God. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory Thank you, to Lord. God. Come on, say bless me, Lord. Blessed. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Come on and receive the wisdom of God. Jesus. God is blessing you. I with am the blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go the ahead, child, and pray and speak and do whatever it is you need glory to do. Glory to God. Glory to God. We just praise you and honor you, O oh Lord God. And we thank you, O oh Father God, for the blessing that you have delivered to us, the blessing that you gave to us in Jesus Christ through the gifts, through the suffering of his, of the stripes on his back and his death, burial and resurrection, O oh Lord God, for the blood on the mercy seat, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father, that we are blessed in the name of Jesus. We are blessed in the city and blessed in the field. We are blessed coming in and blessed going out, O oh Lord God. Our storehouses are blessed, oh Father God. Everything we put our hands to do is blessed in the name of Jesus because you gave this blessing to your children of Abraham, to the children of Abraham, oh Lord God. And it says in your word that if we be in Christ, then we are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise, oh Father God. Help us, oh Lord. Stir us up, oh Father God, to seek in to dig in father god to dig into your word and find out all the blessings 
Lord, that you have poured out upon us. So we know, oh Lord, when to resist something that is not the blessing that is coming into our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we submit ourselves thoroughly and fully to you in Jesus name, oh Father God, so that we have the the, the strength, oh Lord, that, that power within us to resist the enemy and he flees from us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and glory and honor and we thank you, oh Lord God, for the blessing that you have poured out upon us, oh Lord, for we are blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, oh God. And I encourage each and every one of you every single day, get up and declare in the name of Jesus that you are blessed. I don't care what it is that you see going on in your life. That ain't got nothing to do with what God said and what he promised you. He said, you're blessed. You are blessed. Only call that. 